Jim Henson Studios' Farscape is sci-fi's highest rated series and still accelerating. Together at the show's first stateside convention, the stars swap theories about the show's light speed success. What makes Farscape different is that it's essentially a character-based show. Uh, and at the same time, it's uh, very edgy and irreverent. Uh, and at the same time, holding tight to the classical traditions of sci-fi television and film. Science fiction generally draws in a much more intelligent demographic. And on this show, because of the connection with uh, the involvement of Henson. Uh, people who love imaginative pieces are drawn to it as well. How great to be able to turn on a show and have that sense of fun on television without someone trying to give you a great big thesis on what the world should be. And I think that's what Farscape really does for us. It really does for its viewers. They can come out and they can say, I'm beat. I've just got to put on something. I've got to have a smile. I've got to watch something that's fun. Let's, let's go to Farscape for rocks. That alien makeup is enough to give any actor a case of the blues, but for some aliens, this is actually a good thing. It is interesting working with all those characters. The first day of working with uh, one of the characters in prosthetics with contact lenses in their eyes was bizarre. Not The face didn't worry me so much, funnily enough, because I guess I'm a fairly artistic character so as Virginia, and so I can, you know, I can stretch the boundaries of my imagination to accept the fact that, and plus I, I'm a sci-fi fan myself, so, you know, I've seen lots of aliens before. This is really quite interesting to be able to look at myself on the screen in Farscape and think, wow, that's such a real, uh, such a transformation, that it makes it really exciting to come to work and exciting to put on. It makes the hours incredibly long, but uh, it's half the fun. Next, Farscape fans meet their heroes up close when the insider returns. We're back with the cast of the intergalactic hit, Farscape. Blasting through season two with a four-part finale, these space renegades are hotter than a supernova. But it isn't the first time they seared our optical sensors. Don't forget last summer's Sexy Stars of Sci-Fi series. It's been enormously influential in ensuing publicity because when people hear that you're on the cover of TV Guide, it means something. And we weren't to know, and Virginia, Gigi, and I have been really thrilled by the response. It's a, it's a great little feather to have in the cap. Aren't I spoiled? I was so thrilled. Oh, and did you like the borrowed hair on the inside? I suppose people have seen other bits and pieces, and I've got a website so they can see what my hair is really like. And this is the first time I've, I've actually had a la natural hair, and today I was going to wear a wig, and I thought, oh, hell. Coming over here has just been an absolute dream. And to see yourself, like, in the newsstands and stuff, like Ben and I were wandering down, um, I think it was Sunset the other day, and he said, oh, let's just see if there's anything here. We looked, and... No. Oh, it must be because it's sold out. Like this, then we walked up to the next one and there were TV guides there and there were Starbursts there and stuff like that. We went, oh my goodness, this is fantastic. Like, it's amazing. It's a dream come true. The extra publicity has Farscape fans operating on all thrusters and ready to meet their on-screen idols. It's going to be great to interact with people who know the shows, know the episodes, know the characters, have some discussion and feedback from them. We've got some great dialogue with people on the net. Meeting the fans is meeting people who have seen what you've done and now you have to answer for it. <laughs> That's a scary proposition. It's, it's kind of like, you know, if you talk to someone who doesn't know the show, it's, it's, it's easy. You know? Oh, let me tell you about the show. That's an easy thing to do. But when they know the show, they're gonna go, when you said to Aaron in episode seven, da da da, and you're going, oh yeah, yeah, I hated that too. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right, you're absolutely right. 